That looks pretty good. That looks expensive. Look at how shiny it is. Alright guys, hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day. Um, I just kind of randomly looked on here and saw this today. But uh, we've been a member for 150 days. I joined the league on day one, so we've been playing for exactly 150 days. So in celebration, we're going to be doing something a little bit special today. Uh, we're going to be opening all these time capsules. I'm just kidding. We, we can't. We can't do that. I've got uh, 55 stabilizers, and that's pretty much I've been doing the stabilizer every day for five months. This is what I got. I figured since I haven't opened any stabilizers before, and this one gives you. I think it's nine. Yeah, nine capsules for seven. It's a pretty good deal, especially for somebody that hasn't opened any before. So we might get some feats out of it. We might not. The thing that sucks is I don't know what gives you feats and I don't know what doesn't. So we're probably just going to collect everything. We're going to be right by the broker in case there's anything we can sell. Um, I think the resurgence ones don't give you any feats. So we might just sell those unless they look cool. I don't know. We're just kind of winging it today. But before we get started in the typical fashion, I do want to show you, uh, let's start off with the skill points today. I thought it was pretty appropriate. We're at 151. So we've been rolling out pretty much one skill point a day for the past five months, which is pretty good. It's slowed down a lot in the last month, month and a half, just because we've been focused so much on uh, PVE legends. But it should speed up a good bit once we get towards the end end of that 723 oh yeah and there is one more thing i wanted to show you before we get started with this so you know how i said we were gonna have all the pvp gear by the time we were done with legends well it got a lot more expensive we collected all the 99 gear and i was looking at the 100 gear and this is just look at this it costs 5,000 marks just for the chest but all is well we will get it eventually i've got two pieces already Anyway, that's it for the progress update. Let's go ahead and get started. The resurgence capsules themselves are not stackable, which kind of sucks. It fill up your inventory pretty quick. I'm not going to lie. It almost makes me uncomfortable opening these. I mean, this is like, this is five months worth of running that daily. All these stabilizers. I, it's worth it. I know. I, I mean, this is the the most efficient way we can do it but my god just i'm cringing opening these anyway let's get into it all right here's what i'm going to do i'm going to open them in groups uh of seven just to kind of show you guys what i get i don't want to get too confusing here so we'll do these gotham time capsules first and i'll open all seven of these and for the first seven of the gotham one we got these exobytes we got some random junk i feel like that moat might sell for some decent amount of money and then we got four collector's capsules and three emblem capsules and then this soda. All right, guys, I'm going to try to do this the smart way. I'm going to open them. I'm going to look on the broker real quick what the uh, most expensive one is. And that is the one I'm going to collect so I can kind of be smart about this and not have to spend more money in the long run. Okay, it got me a fee. Yeah, I, okay, so I should be opening all these for the feats. All right, that was the first seven. Let's throw this stuff in the bank and open our next seven. All right, for the team up capsule, here's the exabytes we got. We got a collector's capsule, an emblem, four, four emblem capsules, and two high density tactical gear capsules. All right, let's fucking open this shit. That's also worth a lot. All this stuff is worth a lot. All right, let's get this one. All right, so I got th three Captain Cold emblem sets. So I, I'm pretty sure I only need one of those, right? So let's get this. Let's get this Commander Steel one. And then let's try to sell all right, quarter in time capsule up next. All right, here's what we got, and we have four zodiac emblem capsules, a quartian guard capsule, and then two collector capsules. That looks pretty good. That looks expensive. Look at how shiny it is. Oh wow, that one was twenty-five points. Damn. That one was. 50 points. Jesus Christ. You telling me this isn't pay to win? Pretty nice belt here. The plans for the belt. 
Amazonian time capsule next. Let's go. All right, and from this one we got five collector's capsules and two emblem capsules. These are such <laughs> these are such easy ten point feats. This is this is pretty crazy. All right, and the collector's capsules. Let's see. All right, that's it. All right, let's do unlocked time. I'm guessing this is the first time capsule because it just says unlocked time capsule. And we got three lantern emblem capsules, three future crusader, and a time and space collector's capsule. Now that looks good. Look at that. Look how shiny that is. That's worth seven mil. Too bad we're going to collect it. Oh my god, no wonder why it's worth 7 mil. It's fucking f a 50 point feat. <laughs> Alright, there's the emblems. Alright, so we'll get those styles for both of these, and I'm guessing we'll sell the other one. Wow, you can actually sell that for a mil. Okay. Let's do it. Alright, here's the loot from the notorious one. Three gear, one emblem, and three collectors. And let's get some gear. I guess the chest is supposed to be pretty good. And we got another leggings, which is actually kind of nice. Alright, so we'll put these on. I'll research that, and then we'll put this one on the broker as well. Okay, Paradox Time Capsule next. Oh, right, we got a emblem, five collector's capsules, and one gear capsule. We got a green one. Okay. Grab this gear. Time torn time capsule. Here we go. Alright, we got two gear, two emblem, and then three collectors. Fabric from the Hindenburg. That looks pretty good. It's worth a mil, it's not too bad. Last one, arcane time capsule. Let's go. And the last one's gonna give us five collector's capsules and two emblems. Okay, we actually uh, oh, we we didn't get very many. I thought you'd get a bunch of stabilizers because you get pieces back, but we literally got one. Should we open one more? Yeah, we might. We might as well. We might as well open one more. I just happen to have one more in here. So the resurgent ore capsules themselves, I'm probably going to open next time and the start of next video we'll open them up and I think all we're going to do is really just sell them on the broker because I don't really care about the auras. From what I understand there's no feats attached to them so we'll, we'll be good. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be good. We'll make a little bit of money there. Hopefully. Or if I don't even know if you can sell them honestly. You might not be able to sell them. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to figure it out. But anyway, let's look at, I haven't even looked at this yet. So we're up to 743 feet, and we're up to, oh, it gave us, so th three skill points, that's not bad, 154. I figured it would give us a few at least. Most of the collections we just scratched the surface on. Like I said, I tried to get the most expensive ones first, so later we're gonna be able to go back and buy them. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, the Catalyst video is probably what's going to be next. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys next time.